Hi Pisces, today is um, Monday, October 3rd, and it is 3.41 a.m. here in Texas as I'm starting your reading. Let's find out what your tarot cards say today. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest, Pisces. Please help me deliver the messages that Pisces needs to know. Pisces. All right, Pisces, you're starting off with the Two of Cups. Strength, Leo energy. And we have the Four of Swords. Why is the Two of Cups here, Spirits? The Eight of Pentacles. Why is Strength here? The Knight of Wands. And the Six of Coins. I feel like Pisces, there's someone here that you're wanting to work on a connection you're you're wanting to work on this two of cups <clears throat> and i'm feeling some resistance from your energy here for whoever these messages are for take what resonates and leave the rest but there's someone here that is holding back communication with someone does pisces need to know we have the Six of Cups, the Two of Swords, and Justice, Libra Energy. On the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups. Okay. So let me clarify the energy here, Pisces. There's someone here that you're thinking about. I can see that very clearly. Okay. Spirits, why is the Two of Cups here? Why is the Two of Cups here? We have the High Priestess, Pisces Energy, the Eight of Swords, Knight of Wands. There's someone that you're thinking about, Pisces. This is a self-imposed imprisonment of the mind. And I feel like you're keeping this information to yourself. You thinking about this person, you're keeping it to yourself, hidden behind this veil of yours. And the person that's showing up here is the Knight of Wands. So this is someone that is a um, very nice looking, attractive person. But I'm feeling like there's something a little off with this person that's not correct. It's not right. And you know that. But yet you can't seem to get this person out of your mind. They keep running through your mind. Why is strength here? Justice, Libra energy. Um, yeah, with strength, there there's a resistance coming from you, Pisces, because you know the truth of a situation. You know who you're dealing with here. <clears throat> but I feel like 
you're still trying to find out information even though there is a truth here that has been revealed to you that you do realize and you may be kind of daydreamy the knight of cups has like these wings on the top of their hat which represents some type of daydreamy type energy when it comes to this person but I'm seeing you trying to heal here with the Four of Swords. You don't want to fight with them anymore. You're in this healing energy. I don't see you taking action towards this person. Why is the Four of Swords here? The Three of Pentacles. <clears throat> there could be a third party involved. The Page of Pentacles. And I'm seeing you coming up with a plan to move into calmer water. I feel, I see you here coming up with a plan to work on your money, to work on your stability, and um, you're not wanting to fight or argue with this person, but they still are lingering here in your mind. This plan has to do with you moving into calmer water, moving away from this this energy because again your hands are tied there's nothing you can do even though you love and care about this person there's nothing you can do at this point but to move into calmer water why are you keeping this to yourself you're not revealing this why is the high priestess here The lovers is a choice, and the lovers also talks about a third party. And so I'm seeing you making a choice here to not take any action here in the hangman because there's a truth here that's revealed to you that you see clearly. And you're looking at things, you're looking um, at things differently. And even though I feel like you may feel like this is an uncomfortable position that you're in, you need to move on and you realize that why is the eight of pentacles here so you could be pushing yourself into your work pisces with the eight of pentacles page of wands two of wands and four of pentacles <coughs> Yeah, I'm seeing you here trying to come up with a plan, Pisces. It's very clear to me here that you're that you could feel like, okay, I'm standing here now, um, trying to decide which direction I want to go in now because I I feel like you feel like this is all on your shoulders now. There's no one um, speaking in your ear no one is holding you back and so i'm seeing here that you have a plan here in mind that you're looking at as far as moving forward and then we have the knight of wands why is the knight of wands here showing up again in the center of your reading the six of pentacles the empress Taurus energy and the Ace of Cups. Something to do here with the baby Pisces on the other side, on their side. This person may be breadcrumbing you. I feel like when it comes to new love Pisces, you're in this very beautiful magnetic energy here as the Empress. So you're in your power. You're looking beautiful. There's been a lot of growth in your energy since this person has left. And I feel like this person, there's, there's new love that shows up here, but I see 
you not very interested in this new love. It's like you're not taking any action here either with the Four of Swords. So there's someone coming into your energy that may be here right now for some of you. But they're coming in offering you this Ace of Cups, this Cup of Love. But you have your arms crossed. You're not interested in it. Huh. Okay. And then we have the Six of Coins. Why is the Six of Coins here? I'm going to go back and clarify why you're not interested in that. But I'm feeling like um, I'm seeing financial gain here and you're your more interest your interest here is oh we have the king and the queen of cups here on the bottom of the deck there could be an x here um little to no communication but i'm seeing you putting your interest in your family your home your happiness and giving, it's like you're in this very giving energy right now too, Pisces. Why is the Four of Cups here? You could be dealing with another water sign. The Two of Swords closed off. Not, not interested. Five of Cups. Page of Cups. I feel like you have a choice between two Pisces. Well, I feel like there's, you have two X's here. You have one that you're completely disinterested in. And I feel like this person that you have no interest in is coming back to you. This is kind of complicated and maybe very personal for someone, but there's there's one X here that you just you're not interested in. There's another one here that that is on your mind that you think about a lot. Why is the six of cups here? There we go. seeing someone here see there we go we have the king and the queen of cups again facing each other right next to each other you are both mirroring each other and thinking about each other and so if this person has been heavily on your minds lately this is why you're both on the same page you're both thinking about each other and um I'm seeing someone here that wants to that wants to take action come in with a message here and wanting to be recognized. Why is this ace of wands here? They're wanting you to recognize them. So they're going to come in in a different light than what you saw this person before. The Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and the Tower. This person's energy right now, Pisces, is they're going back and forth about um, dropping a burden and causing a tower moment. And sending you this message and being recognized. And I'm seeing them going back and forth about this because it's going to cause a tower moment, which I'm going to clarify separately. But this person feels like something is not right. Something is off. They feel unstable without you. How could they have let you go? Why is the tower here? Because they're 
This is an X. You can see the X right here on the card. This mirroring each other, you're both thinking about each other, but you're not looking at each other. You're separate. Something here is going to break with the tower. Why is the tower here? There's someone here, Pisces, um, that wants to come and reconcile with you, but they show up like this. They show up in Seven of Swords, Five of Swords energy. This is like a selfish, deceiving... Why is this here, spirits? Why is the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords here? This person could still be in a marriage or some type of a commitment with someone else. And I feel like the with the king of swords here there could be like a divorce in the makings or something but it's not quite here yet and then we have the two of swords why is the two of swords here strength the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy and the nine of pentacles this is heartbreaking pisces the Three of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. But the secret here um, will be revealed with the sun. The secret here is going to come out. And it's going to be shown to you. Because I see this person comes to you with some type of a secret. This person is um, closed off when it comes to revealing some type of truth to you, but you will see the truth. There's something here that has to do with money. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Yep, has to do with money. So this person um, could come to you, ask you for a loan, ask you for help with money. Why is justice here? This person's suffering from a lack of money. But deep down within, when this person arrives, I'm seeing here that your truth is deep down within. You know your truth. And I'm seeing you finding your, your Ten of Pentacles here by looking at your truth here, Pisces, the Queen of Swords. One of these energies you're going to cut off, but you have two people here showing up in this reading from the past. One may be a Cancer. Why is the Ace of Cups here? The Wheel of Fortune and the Queen of Cups. And the Ace of Pentacles. There will be a new beginning in love here, Pisces. Because there's, there's one person here um, that you do have a lot of love for where the this wheel is going to turn and something significant here is getting ready to happen with the ace of pentacles so i'm seeing like a new start here why is the and then there's another one that you leave out in the cold this could be scorpio doesn't have to be but there's an ending taking place to 
another connection, another person that is connecting to you. It's coming to an end. I feel like this person is exhausting to you. Why is death here? I feel like you've been through a lot, Pisces. Seven of Swords. Because of deceiving, lying, cheating energy. You're leaving it out in the cold. Uh, this person... I'm seeing them coming and asking you probably for help with money. Okay, so... What does Pisces need to know in love, spirits? This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. And that's what I'm seeing here, is I'm seeing someone here that you're holding out your cup of love for, where this connection will come back around again. Pisces, what does Pisces need to know? Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And this one, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I feel like there's an, a particular energy here that's a very, um, very cold. This person could have some type of an addiction or something over here. Let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. There's nothing you can do to help the help this person, Pisces. And I'm seeing unrequited love here. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I feel like you've long let this person go. And I feel like um, there's no attraction here with you and them. Like you... You di you have disinterest in this person. What does Pisces need to know? But I feel like you you will pity them. You will feel sorry for them. And you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. The end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. And let's get one more. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. And on the bottom of the deck, your hard work is paying off, new moon in Capricorn. All right, Pisces, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and... um all of your support here, and I will see you tomorrow, Pisces. Namaste.